Hello and welcome to our September virtual opening. My name is Emma Wilson and delighted that you could join us. This month's feature artists are Gary Akers, Holly Smith, Cooper Dragonette, and Douglas H. Cave Sr. You'll hear more from them in a few moments. First, a few thank yous. Thank you to our artists who continue to inspire and create every single day. And thank you to our clients who continue to support our artists and our gallery business. So it's the beginning of September here in Maine, officially the beginning of shoulder season, which is actually, I think, probably like the most beautiful time here in Maine in many, many ways. So I invite you to come and visit us here in Portland at 154 Middle Street, seven days a week, 10 to 530, in case you're in the area. We would love to see you. So now let's hear from our artists. First, I'd like to introduce artist Gary Akers. Gary is one of America's foremost contemporary realists, painting in watercolor, dry brush, and egg tempera. Gary is a master of light and shadow, and his works are praised for their beauty and richness of detail. Gary's paintings have been accepted by highly acclaimed museums, including the Speed Art Museum, the Agunquit Museum, the National Academy of Design, and the Artists of America exhibition. With his wife, Lynn, and their daughter, Ashley, Gary lives in Union, Kentucky, where he spends winter months painting in his restored 19th century log cabin studio. Summers are spent in Maine, where he paints the rugged coast. In 1995, they purchased the charming Georges River Road School, also known as the Green Schoolhouse, just two miles down from the beautiful St. George Peninsula. Please welcome artist Gary Akers. Um, my name is Gary Akers. I'm an artist, American realist. I was born in Pikeville, Kentucky. When I was about five years old, I started to draw with pencil. I had coloring books, but I never used them for to color with. I always redraw, redraw the, uh, the images. When I was about eight years old, I started painting a watercolor, which uh, opened up a whole new field of art. My education, I have a master's degree in painting and drawing from Moorhead State University. I had a uh, graduate assistantship to study egg tempera for a year. And then um, after I graduated from Moorhead, I received an international grant from Montreal, Canada. Only four worldwide was given out. The foundation was to give me a way to study a tempera. I visited the Metropolitan Museum in New York, Portland, and Frontwick Museum in Maine. They had examples of the tempera work. Awards, I have numerous awards, including the American Watercolor Society, which was founded in 1866 which is the oldest and most prestigious in, in America, of which I am a signature member. Mediums that I work in primarily is watercolor and egg tempera, a technique in which dried pigments are mixed with the yolk of an egg and distilled water and layered in thin brush strokes on the gesso panel. One of the oldest forms of painting dates back to the Egyptian time. In the winter months, I live in Union, Kentucky. I paint in my restored log cabin built in the 19th century. Summers are spent in Maine, where I paint the rugged coast. I hope that you will enjoy this exhibit. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. And now I'd like to introduce artist Holly L. Smith. As a Maine native, Holly has always found inspiration in the ever-changing beauty and moods of her surroundings. Painting is a natural expression of her creative vision, and she strives to show others the meaningful, healing tranquility that the Maine landscape offers through colors, shape, and compositional relationships. Holly frequently takes the opportunity to experience her locale by traveling to remote island destinations or exploring scenic areas around her home. Her paintings offer glimpses of Maine's magnificence, its heritage, and its romance. Holly is a retired art educator with over 31 years of experience. She has a, earned a Bachelor of Science in Art Education from the University of Southern Maine, and her artwork is in numerous public and private collections. Please welcome artist 
Holly L. Smith. Thank you, Emma, for that introduction. I'm thrilled to be here tonight and to see all of you here. Welcome. I am thrilled to be a part of the September show and want to um, talk a little bit about what I have for work, I uh, artwork. I have traveled to different parts of the state, which I love doing. Um, and then from there, using my plein air studies, I paint my larger images that you can see um, behind me here and that you'll see also at the gallery. The uh, plein air painting is a wonderful experience for me because you can go and I, I guess I would say feel the energy of the place. And with that, I, I feel like I'm gathering it, bringing it back and then making a larger version for you all to see. The paintings behind me, I, if you can see um, the one that's directly behind me with the um, sunset, I was down in um, uh, Tenants Harbor uh, at an evening dinner at what's called the Happy Clam. And I was um, driving home with my family and saw that view and just had to stop and, and quickly um, shoot up a bunch of photos. I did not do a plein air of that one because again, the light will change in moments. And um, so I painted that to give the, the, uh, that feeling of that evening as I was driving home. Skudik has been uh, a magical place for me to travel to this summer. We went there with my daughter and her family and sat on those rocks and just stared out into the ocean and just saw the sparkling waves and water crashing and you could spend hours um, being there. And I have also worked in my studio this summer and we've had a lot of rainy days and so studio painting has been perfect for me in that regard. And I am very happy that um, you'll, you'll see uh, the result of those times working. Thank you very much for having me as part of the exhibit. And um, I'm very pleased to be a part of this gallery and they do a wonderful, wonderful um, job supporting each one of the artists that are represented. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce artist Cooper Dragonette. Inspired by the coast of Maine, Cooper has devoted himself to painting the landscape since 2000. His influences consist of noble, notable artists such as John Singer Sargent, Edward Harper, Hopper, and Andrew Wyeth. Cooper primarily paints in oils and has an affinity for painting on plein air, but also enjoys creating studio works using his outdoor sketches for inspiration. Cooper is a full-time landscape painter a teacher, a father, and a husband, though not always necessarily in that order. He lives and works here in Cape Elizabeth, Maine, and his work is, held, work is held in numerous private, public, and corporate collections across the country. Please welcome artist Cooper Dragonette. Hi, I'm Cooper Dragonette. Thanks so much for coming to see my work at the Portland Art Gallery for the September show. And thank you, of course, to all the folks that make this possible. Emma, Kevin, Missy, Emma, Nikki, uh, without you, well, the gallery is super because of you and uh, all of us that, that, that are artists and get to show our work at the Portland Art Gallery can't thank you enough. The paintings that I have for this show here in September have been made uh, over the course of the last year or so. And as most of my work is, has been influenced by my time living and working on the coast of Maine. Uh, briefly, I, I, I came to Maine many years ago, working as a sailor for the Outward Bound School that uh, was based off of Hurricane Island in Penobscot Bay. And I didn't know Maine that well. I was a kid from Connecticut and I had gone to school in Arizona and Maine was a foreign country to me. And sailing the coast of Maine was uh, an eye opener. I had just no idea that that this landscape existed um, just you know, a few hours north of me having grown up in Connecticut. And so that time working and sailing on the coast of Maine uh, must have taken up a lot of storage room in my memory because it's still the inspiration that I draw upon now as an artist. And when I came to Maine 
way back when, I wasn't an artist in the sense that I am now. I mean, I, I did a lot of drawing and I think I was always considered the artistic kid at school, but it wasn't something I did full time. And it wasn't until I um, took some painting classes in college and was exposed largely to plain air painting, which is the practice of just painting outdoors and on site, that, um, that art and my love for being out in the wilderness kind of came together. And what better place to put those two things together than the coast of Maine? Um, so most of the work that I have in this show is often a product of experience, of imagination, some artistic license. Uh, some of it is a, a, a longing to get back to those places, uh, even though I probably can never get back there. Maybe painting is the is the only way that I can um, sort of access those memories or those experiences or that time. Um, it's, it's almost like a product of wishful thinking. And um, in some little way, it sort of makes dreams real, makes dreams um, and memories um, come to life, I guess. And um, they are snapshots from my time, uh, moments that um, you know, maybe seemed insignificant at the moment, uh, but really left a lasting impression. So paintings that are in the show, like Island Sunset or The Whites, Limited Visibility, um, they're all just places that I wish I could get back to again and places I wish I could take my children and perhaps have them have those same experiences. Uh, and hopefully for many of you, it's, uh, it, you can relate. You've, you've, you've seen places like this. You've experienced moments like those. Um, funny to, to take an image of an island in the fog that you can barely see and turn it into a painting. And somehow it's still beautiful. It still resonates. Uh, there's something kind of mysterious about it and magical. Um, and to be honest, some of my favorite days sailing the coast of Maine was when we couldn't see it, when you were moving around uh, almost in the dark with just a compass and a stopwatch. Uh, and islands would appear out of nowhere. And you hoped it was the right island. <laughs> you hoped that you were in the right spot. Uh, and, and those moments of beauty... That, that sort of came and passed just in a glance. Uh, that's what, what my work, I think, tends to be about. Um, I guess ultimately I'm trying to record the world in front of me, the world around me, the world I had been in uh, and the world that I wished I could be in still. Um, painting is my, is my means of doing that. I suppose if I was a writer, I would write what I know, but I find myself a painter. And so I try to paint what I know and painting the coast of Maine, whether it's a big view or a little view, that seems to, that seems to work for me as an artist. So thanks again for coming to see the September show here at the Portland Art Gallery. If you have any questions about my work or my, my process, uh, please feel free to reach out to the gallery or to myself. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. Now it's my pleasure to introduce artist Douglas H. Caves Sr. Doug's paintings come from an emotional response to the people, the places, and the circumstances of his life. He builds his canvases in layers of color and brushstrokes that help him to draw out the personal feelings he is experiencing and project those onto the canvas. Through delicate shifts in tone and composition, he finds just the right mood for what he's trying to paint. Doug studied oil painting with Tom Morris of Fitchburg during his early teenage years. He later attended the fine arts program at Mount Wachusett Community College, studying art history, painting, drawing, and sculpture. These days, he frequently paints along the southern Maine coast and in the rural hills of central Massachusetts, finishing his larger works in his studio. Please welcome artist Douglas Caves. I'd like to say thank you to Kevin Thomas, Emma Wilson, Emma Nicole Burke, Missy Dunway, and Nikki Fontaine for the excellent work they do to make this all happen in such an excellent way. 
I also want to thank everyone in attendance this evening for your appreciation and support of the arts. It's an honor for me to be showing along with Holly Smith, Cooper Dragonette, and Gary Akers. All artists I respect and admire. I'm excited to have my latest series of interior paintings on view, and I hope you find something in them that speaks to your imagination. My imagination was captured by the notion of portraying three environments in the same picture plane, with the device of a window as the transition plane between the interior and exterior worlds. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the show, and please feel free to tap me on the shoulder and, and introduce yourself or ask a question. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us for our September virtual opening. And thank you to Gary, Doug, Cooper, and Holly for all of your remarks. I invite you to listen to our podcast, Radio Maine with Dr. Lisa Belial. Just subscribe to our YouTube station and you will hear captivating conversations with at least Dr. Lisa uh, and artists and members of our community. So until next time, be well, stay curious, and keep in touch. Thank you.